Bonjour tout le monde. Today we're here to learn about le futur simple or the simple future tense in French. So conjugating the future tense is super, super easy. All you need is the infinitive of your action. For example, uh, like an ER verb, manger, or IR, finir, or um, RE, attendre. And for ER and IR verbs, you actually just keep the infinitive the way it is. You don't do anything. But for an RE verb, you just drop the E. And that gives you your future stem. So for an ER verb, the future stem is the just the infinitive. For an IR, it's just the infinitive. For an RE, it's the infinitive minus the E. And then you just add the future tense endings. AI, AS, A, ONS, EZ, ONT. You'll notice that in the boot, so right here, the je tu, il allon, and then il el plural, those are actually the conjugations of avoir. So it's the infinitive plus the conjugation of avoir for the je tu, il allon, and il el plural forms. But then for the nu and the vu, it's just the er, re endings, ons, ez, the present tense. Very, very, very easy. The only challenging thing that you'll find about the future simple is that there are a couple of irregulars. So let's look right here at conjugating for the verb attendre, which is a regular RE verb. It means to wait for. So in order to get the stem, you drop the E because it's a regular RE verb, and then you'll have that stem attendre in all of the persons. And then you add your future tense endings. So we'll have j'attendrai, tu attendras, il elle on attendra, nous attendrons, vous attendrez, ils elles attendront. So that's all it is. You'll have that r sound before the ending always, because for the er and the ir, they already end in an r. And for res, you get rid of that e at the end of the infinitive, and it then ends with an r. So we'll have ra, uh, re, ra, ra, ron, re, ron. Those are what all endings should sound like in the future simple, even the irregulars. So you'll see these are our irregular stems that we have. These are pretty common verbs. There are a few other irregulars, but we haven't really focused on those verbs in the present. So we're not going to focus on those just now. These are our most common ones. So for ale, it's ir. J'irai, avoir, or, j'aurai, être, serre, je serai, faire, is faire, je ferai, pouvoir, is pour, je pourrai, devoir, is devre, je devrai, savoir, is sort, je saurai, venir, is viendre, je viendrai, voir, is verre, je verrai, vouloir, is voudre, je voudrai. So all of these stems are really important to memorize. You can see right here, you only have about 10 of them. It's not that bad. And all of them look somewhat like their infinitive, except for atra. Um, And you only have to memorize that stem. They'll always take the same endings that we already went over for the future. So if we wanted to say, um, you will go to ira. He, she will go. Il, elle, ira, ira. Okay, so make sure that you memorize those regular stems. They will come up in our next tense, the conditional, which has these same stems. Here are just some examples. Demain, je ferai les devoirs. Tomorrow, I will do the homework. We have that stem for faire. La semaine prochaine, tu finiras le projet. You see, finir, that infinitive is the stem. And then we added our ending according to two. Bientôt, Monsieur Wright donnera les annonces. Donner was our stem and our infinitive. And then we just add our appropriate ending. Plus tard, le prof lira les essais. So lire is our infinitive. It's an RE verb, though, so I dropped the E and I was left with L-I-R, so lira. Le mois prochain, nous verrons un film. That is an incorrect conjugation. It should be nous verrons O-N-S. V-E-R-R is the infinitive stem for voir. L'année prochaine, on saura les autres temps du français. 
Next year, we will know the other tenses in French. So savoir was our verb, um, and sort is our infinitive, our feature stem. All right, then we have our abufi in your notes. Go ahead and write these sentences and their conjugation. Don't just write the conjugation, write out the whole sentence and its conjugation. A bientôt.